Right. Everything was going well until, well, I say well, things are not going well. Um, funny woman downstairs, I don't know. There's a funny foreign woman downstairs. Um, I don't know, I thought she was very nosy and, and then she, I knew there was something funny about her. Oh, no, I like the night porter, he's nice, um, but I rang reception for some ice. It's 1.13 in the morning. I can't take any more. I just really can't take any more. I really just can't take any more. I really just can't take any more. I've had so much evil and abuse and I just can't take any more. All this narcissistic abuse, all these people, all to, to take advantage of me, a vulnerable person, and then I've got this funny woman downstairs. And I don't think the night, that nice night, night porter, I don't think he wanted to say anything because he felt awkward, I don't know. I came downstairs and she was like, um, she's a foreign lady and she's saying, who's paying for you to be here? How come you're still here? And I was like, well, my partner put money in my account and I've got nowhere to go. I've had my emergency room taken from me. Oh, but the emergency room is only there for when it gets really cold i said no it's not no it's not i said i know what you're talking about but i've had my emergency room taken from me and there are other people in there well it's not what i really meant to say was temporary accommodation but the fact is my emergency accommodation my temporary accommodation Oh, how can you afford to stay here? Who's paying for this then? None of her business, but... Um, I'm very close to snapping. Um, I really am, because... Um, there's, you know, that, no, that nice that South African guy, he's, he's a Christian and everything, and I was happy just talking to him, but this funny woman... Because the other night she gave me a hug and I don't like it when people do that. I don't like it when strangers try to touch you because it's not normal. It's like being in the psychiatric unit or well, Eastbourne hotels are like this anyway. Because <laughs> you never know who, what you're attracting wherever you go. But... No, she's, I went, I, I realised she, she said, oh, I'll go and get you some ice. And the night porter said um, that she works here or she lives here. And I thought, I can't imagine her working here. Because this is one of the um, top end hotels. And but she, I don't mean to be a snob, but some people are just a bit. When something's not quite right, I mean, I'm trying to say this in a diplomatic way. And she went and got my eyes. And, uh, and she, he said that she lived, she works, she works here, or she lives here, or, and they use the washing machines. Um, but I came back downstairs to get some milk, and I thought, I'm not going to look at her, because, and I addressed um the night porter and she said look, 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 look she said it's okay to get stuff to ask for things up until 10 o'clock but after that you can't ask for anything and i said excuse me this is between me and then i said could you just mind your own i didn't want to get into an argument and i said thank you very much to um the amount of money 
that I've already forked out out of my own pocket and collectively Darren as well. I've stayed here for just over two weeks now. I've paid for tomorrow night as well. Believe me, it ain't cheap. Ain't cheap. This is one of the um, nicer of the, um, well to be honest there aren't many hotels that I can go to because of all the nonsense that's been happening. And... <sighs> they know about the homeless situation, this council, they know, they know about the homeless, they know about the criminals, they know about, they know what's going on. And um, I will put. I will make a complaint tomorrow morning, though, because I'm not having that. I just want people to mind their own business. I choose who I speak to. I choose who I speak to. Um, and I've, you know, collect. You know, what I've spent thousands of pounds of back pip on these hotels. The 151 Chief Financial Officer, I put her, him, her on notice under common law, I've done all this. Now, I'm already feeling stressed out because I had Darren shouting down the phone at me over Juliet. And it's like, look, don't preach at me about Abba Yahweh when you yourself, along with Eben and Juliet, and all these evil things have happened to me because I've been on the phone to Simon, okay, today. Not to, not my not my not my brother-in-law, Simon, who is helping people with this common law business and the treason and the stuff to do with King Charles coronation. He said it sounds to me like you're not helping yourself because. He's got, it sounds like he's controlling you. So, Darren, you're asking me if I've spoken to Simon. Simon says, it sounds like you're controlling me. Because what he said, why are you not staying in his flat? Well, everyone asks that question. Why aren't you staying in Darren's flat? Why has all of this happened to me? Why have I lost my home? Why have I lost my emergency accommodation? And then there are these nosy people who want to know how am I affording to pay for this? You shouted down the phone at me about Juliet. Oh, Juliet. Juliet has been... Juliet, um... Why would Juliet listen to a random stranger, Bryony? She's the one who flagged up your abuse in Eben's flat when you were arrested over a bloody set of keys. Don't talk to me about Abba Yahweh. Don't preach at me intensely down the phone. Where's your mum and dad in all of this? Where's your mum? Your mum said to me that I could have a good life with you. And then you said you're working on them. Working on them. Your dad texted you, are you okay? in Eben's flat when I was crying towards you before you were arrested in Eben's flat for emotional abuse. Juliet flagged up your emotional abuse. You said to me in the Cavendish Hotel, Juliet's your friend. Her mum came in and said, she's not your friend. You're all as bad as each other. You all might as well go to hell. I'll be the one who goes to heaven, okay? Because you're all doing the devil's work. I do. I, I've, Eben threatened to dispose of things in a letter to me. And I've got the recording of Karen and DC Kumar, Karen, the care coordinator, who got me in that flat that I lost through whatever was going on behind the scenes. And you all know what's going on behind the scenes because it involves crimes committed by these harassing anonymous calls from police abusing powers.
and you will have seen it in the last video that I made, Darren. You took me to the name of Abba Yahweh. You strengthened my faith. But Simon's right. You can't be controlling. You can't be abusive. It's up to it's up to five years in prison for coercive control. And he said to me, it sounds like all these people are control. They are controlling me. Yes. Juliet, Eben, you, all three of you. Don't tell me that you're going to get onto the phone to the council and say, what have you done to her things when you need to do that with Eben? Because Eben threatened to dispose of my things. And you were arrested in her flat for controlling me, for abusing me over a set of keys. And that's something that Juliet flagged up. And you said to me in the Cavendish Hotel, I self-funded for nine months with back pit for my safety because of those criminals at Belmore Road. You said to me, Juliet's your friend. And her mum walked in and said, no, she's not your friend. And there were paramedics, police, her friends. You know what's going on. Do not use our Heavenly Father to manipulate me. Do not shout down the phone at me, Darren. Do not use the Bible to abuse and manipulate me. Because I swear on my fucking life. And what with the, that funny woman downstairs just now? And that's with the nice night porter, the Christian night porter who put those Christian booklets under my door. He was with me. He came up when that woman was beaten up by her partner. When I came out of the lift and I found this woman covered in bruises and a bloody nose and she was naked. She's normalised what has been done to her. I don't want to normalise emotional abuse. You weren't there for me when I needed you. And I've made, I said to this Simon, I said I've made excuses for Darren. Now he's, this is someone who, yes I don't know him, I don't know, I've don't know him and I have to be careful with people because people you lot are supposed to be my friends but you're not and this is someone who's randomly offered me a job and a roof over my head and he's saying to me why it sounds like you're not helping yourself he's an ex-partner for a reason he'd allow you to stay in his flat now I've made excuses for you Darren to other people and yet those people are validating me don't talk to me about Abba Yahweh because it's just as bad as you saying to your brother that you've offended our Heavenly Father because he had a divorce You'd upset a lot of people saying that. My parents divorced. Your brother divorced. Oh, and you haven't offended our Heavenly Father? Read the text messages. You're using, your, your, your mother has emotionally abused me. She said we could have a nice life together and I never saw them again after that. I lost my father and I don't know what happened to him. But when the police referred to you as a C-U-N-T, I'm telling you now, hand on heart, the worst, I've never ever had a man, not even a man, do to me stuff that the police have done to me. I've never ever been physically assaulted to the point where I've been bruised, battered, had my phone broken, had a leg restraint put on me because they didn't like what I was saying on a section 136 crimes against humanity up to life in prison malfeasance of office injuring me 
when I found out my father has been dead for over a year, doing all this stuff to me and then normalising it. But who's there to comfort me? Who's there to comfort me? Because you've got a mum and a dad. And you're 13 years older than me and you've still got a mum and a dad and two siblings. You're the one who's had the influence over all of them. I'm the baby of the family. I'm the vulnerable female. I do these loving things. So if you're going to get on the phone to the council about my possessions and my heirloom ring and my valuables, how about doing that with Eben? And mentioning the gifts, the unfinished gifts that I made for Eben and for Juliet. Because Juliet and Eben don't seem to care very much. But they're, you're, there's, it's almost like, a, what do they call it, triangulation? I don't know. This narcissistic abuse, I don't know if I've used the wrong phrase. It, 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 maybe that's only in romantic relationships. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'd have to look that up. But all I know is that there's just been this, um, that. Because I asked Evan to contact Juliet, she didn't want to, but she did it behind my back anyway. But isn't it interesting that you're all playing each other off against me? And that includes Steve Churchill. When I played, when he said, oh, I'm praying for you. Oh, and he just happens to be a landlord like my eldest sister. I play him a recording which is, is on my YouTube channel. I've collated all the videos in one, vi in one YouTube video. I've collated all of them together. And I played him a recording of a criminal on a tag threatening to beat me up. And then he changed. No, your life is not in danger, Bryony. Hmm, he's a Christian and a landlord. And I'm playing him a recording of a criminal on a tag threatening to beat me up. And you don't think there's something just a bit freaking suspicious about this? And I'm the one, I'm the one who's praying with my head on the floor using the name Yahweh, the name Darren that you brought me to. I mean, even Gurmit did this gaslighting thing at the start of our relationship seven years ago. She said, she said, you're the one who brought Darren into this Yahweh business. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so somehow. I was still into all the witchcraft, paganism stuff. I had respect for you, Darren, because you brought me to the name of Yahweh. Because you've always said what's in a name, but now I've changed my mind. All the people who say God, who am I to, who am I to judge them if their heart's in the right place? I mean, if their heart is in the right place, scripture, where scripture is concerned. You have no right, Darren, to shout down the phone at me. And then pretend to be all humble when I am constantly standing up for you to other people. I've done that throughout our so called relationship. You've left me to sleep rough. You've let them bully me. You've let them attack me and assault me. And I've still stood up for you. And because I'm a hu just a human being at the end of the day. I react to all that pain and abuse. I've got Simon on the phone and all these people. Even my godmother said, why is Darren with you? Why would any man want to be with you unless it's to use you? How nice. Yes, that's true. Sick of all these funny ones. It's like they, 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 they see it from a distance and they're drawn to it. Like, they're drawn to it. I've got doormat written all over me. Because I'm a true, authentic believer. And what you see is what you get. And I'm telling my truth. 
And no, you're right. I'm not just, you said, oh, you're just talking to a screen. I'm not. And, and you used Juliet and my mother to abuse me in Evan's flat. Oh, what would your mother think of you? Oh, what would Juliet think of you? And that's before you were arrested for assaulting me over a set of keys. Juliet was meant to support me. Um, Karen, the care coordinator, was meant to support me. She was sacked. She got me into that flat. The flat I lost. DC Kamar was meant to do an investigation into your emotional abuse of me that's gone on. And you and every time you've said I'm not behind any of this, I've got I keep saying to you, are you behind any of this? Have you had contact with all these nutcases from the police abusing powers community? And you're like, no, I've just watched your videos. I'm just as disgusted with Juliet as you are. Really? Well, Juliet said the same about you, Darren. You said Juliet was my friend. Her mum, who I'd never met before, walks in and says, she's not your friend, Bryony. And then these other people are walking in that I've never even met. Her friends, and they're saying my name. And PC Moyles, that nasty bully who bullied me out of there but the elderly chaplain peter said oh they'll bully you their way back into your flat to sdr for you no they didn't they bullied me out of juliet's flat i'm sick to death of it all how can i believe you unless i'm seeing you actually saying and doing something you can't, the only reason why you put money in my account is because I bumped into Josh Bubberundi OBE. You put emphasis on the OBE because I put his title up, OBE, counsellor. And you're, you're saying to me that you've had no contact with these counsellors. You've had no contact with anyone whatsoever. Darren Stewart Webb has had no contact with anyone from the council whatsoever. So why is this happening to me? Why? Why all of a sudden are you angry about this, Darren? Because I don't want to go on. I've got no freaking reason to go on. I'm telling you now, one thing I do believe in, I might only use Yahweh's name because you convinced me to, instead of saying God. One thing's for sure, I know that the truth, the truth shall prevail. Lies are being exposed left, right and centre. And I know that those who are in the truth and speak in their truth, I know, I know for certain, I know for certain that hell is for those who do everything in secret and cover up their wicked deeds. He said this, she said that. Oh, Bryony, that's a terrible thing. And then that, and then the sudden change of character. Actually, you're not my friend. I don't want you here. You've served your purpose. I've you 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 uh, I've I've used my narcissistic supply in you. I don't need you anymore, Bryony. Bye bye. Those are the people. Those are the people. And you know it. You know it. So Darren, don't get on the phone to the council. Well, well, do get on the phone to the council, but get on the phone to your own friend, Eben, in the first instance and say, why did you threaten to dispose of Bryony's things? Including unfinished gifts that she made for you, Eben, and Juliet. And Juliet was the one who flagged up that I was abusing Bryony. How about saying that? before you were arrested. Show humility. Do not talk to me about Abiyahwa until you yourself 
because you will have seen my tears and my pain and I don't know how my father died. Because I remember seeing your father for the first, that, that one Christmas, that one Christmas I had with your family and I thought, hooray, I've got a family. And your mother said to me, she went on about how you were sent to me and how we could have a nice life together and how we nearly moved in together. Was it all just pomp? All for show? And seeing your father and your sister who's a year younger than me and I'm, I'm sure you will have done something for her 40th birthday this year because I sure as hell got sweet F.A. But abuse. And people apparently, according to Warrior Wales, in the police abusing powers, YouTube, Discord, all of them wanting me to suicide. And they're still committing crimes against me to this day. So I've had my home, my possessions taken from me, my shelter. I've had police abuse, police abuse last back in February when I got the news about my father's death. And these demented people at SDR living who are meant to be trained in complex needs. I make the formal complaints. I lose everything. I get beaten by the police. I get my phone broken. I get all of this. They watch my YouTube videos because heaven help that. I, honestly, I just imagine being their children. Can you imagine? What must their childhoods have been like to behave like this? It's so psychopathic. It really is. But Darren, you need to get your priority, priorities right with this one. Because I really, I really, this, I said to this Simon, he's offered to help me. I said, this has finished me off. This has finished me off. That's me done.